Hi everyone, in front of me I've got um, Blackview tab 13 and let me share with you how to change keyboard language on this device. So let's start with opening the keyboard, for example, in the messages, notes, browser, whatever, just have the keyboard on the screen. And all we have to do right now is to enter the settings. They should be in this panel at the top, if not three dots icon, and they will be somewhere here. So let's tap on the settings, as I said, and then tap on the languages. Here we've got uh, the list of currently applied languages. So let's tap on add keyboard. And here, uh, as you can see, we've got the full list of available keyboards from which we can choose. So we've got a lot of options to choose from. Mm, of course, if you don't want to scroll, you can simply tap on the search icon and enter the name of the language. After finding the language, all you have to do is to tap on it. So let me pick Urdu. And as you can see, sometimes you will be able to pick the region. So just tap. Uh, depending on the language, you will be able to pick the keyboard types, sometimes only one or even up to seven different uh, keyboard types. Uh, all you have to do is to mark the one, the layout you want to use and untick the other option. Or of course, you can, you can use both. So uh, let's tap on done. And as you can see uh, here, we've got the Urdu language applied, so we can go back to the keyboard and check. And basically we will have two differences. Uh, right now we've got only one um, visible, the globe icon, the language key, which will allow us to change the keyboard. Let's tap on it. And as you can see, we've got the Urdu. And here we can see also the second difference. So the space bar, it's not empty anymore. Right now we've got the name of the language we are currently using. So this is how to add the language to the keyboard. And now let me show you how to remove it. Uh, so you will be able to totally change the keyboard language. So let's enter the settings, then tap on the languages. And here in this list, all you have to do is to remove the previous language. So tap on the trash bin icon, and uh, not the trash bin icon, but the edit icon and mark the language you, you want to remove. So in my case, it will be Urdu. I don't want to use this one and then tap on the trash bin icon. We've got only English left, so we can go back. And basically, we do not have the globe icon and we do not have the language key. What's more, the spacebar is empty, which simply means that we've got only one language applied. All right, so that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.